Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Yusuf Scott, and I want to thank each and every one of you for being here with me today. All of my loyal viewers, all of my subscribers, or if you are just finding me for the first time, I want to thank you for being here and taking time out of your day to watch this video. I'm very sure that at the end of this video, you'll be able to take something away from it to apply to your Forex trading. All right, now, in my previous training uh, video, or let's say my previous YouTube video, because all this that I do online, it's really about me training you to, 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 to be a better Forex trader, all right? So, as I said in my previous training video, quote unquote, um, I, I had gone over a very important subject. And hopefully you guys were able to watch that video first because I'm doing, I want to do this, I'm going to do this these the next few videos in a series so that you can you can watch them at at any point it doesn't matter but I want to make sure that you guys are following my thought process all right now that being said um, this video today is going to be basically a a um, it's going to go basically right along with the previous video which I, I talked about you know learning learning how to um, train first before you decide to trade live all right so one thing that I want to, to basically let you guys know is that as a Forex trader and trainer all right I've come to realize a few things about the Forex market okay and some of these things you can only learn with experience it's not something that I can really teach. I could tell you these things, but it's best if you experience it for yourself because then that's when you can really uh, make use of the information. You can really understand where I'm coming from. And it's not just spoken words. It's, it's something that, that's resonating with you and it, it means something to you, all right? Now, the last video, like I said, that it was on um, you guys learning to train first become trained first okay not um, practicing with your live account all right practicing with an actual demo account so what I what I want to let you guys know with this video is something that I think is very important as a newcomer or just a trader itself you guys Please, when you're trading on the Forex market, you have to develop patience in the market, all right? And learning how to develop that patience is going to allow you to, you know, withstand the turbulence in the market, all right? If you do not have patience in the market, what, what do you think is going to happen as soon as the market starts to go against you? A little bit or it starts to go against you violently just for a second you know you don't know that news has news news was released on your pair and it's affecting your pair and it's starting to go against you so you 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 know frantically you you uh, start shutting down trades and you just start you know doing things that you normally wouldn't do you know take your time take a deep breath and understand what's going on all right, the market is going to do what it's supposed to do. The market's going to go up and down. The market's going to be pushed around because of news. Then it's going to, you know, even back out. It's going to, you know, resume back to normal. Like nothing never happened. But during that few five minutes or whatever, it's going to pull people out of the market. If you develop patience in a market, you're going to start to be able to endure a lot of those um, highly volatile, you know, spikes in a market or dips in a market. All right. I want you guys to know this. When you are looking at the smaller time frame, it does nothing more than make it makes you anxious. All right. Because in your mind, you see these candles are starting to form. You're you you're in on a sale. But these candles are forming; they're getting larger and larger. You're on a you're on a you're on a small time frame. The candle, the same size candle you see on 
the small time frame, all right, it has very low volume. But when you look at the same, when you look at that candle, when it gets yay high on a debt on a on a on a minute chart, and you measure that same size candle on a daily chart, you notice the volume it's it's way bigger. It's much larger. Okay? So while a candle of this size might be seven pips on a minute chart, the same size candle on a daily chart might be 300 pips, might be 250 pips, whatever it is. Because you're looking at the smaller time frame, candles are opening up much faster. So guess what? In your mind, you start to think that, okay, the market is moving fast. It's because the market is, it might be climbing, but the market is really moving at the same pace as it is as if you're looking at the daily chart, the hour chart, the, the four hour, the monthly, you know, the price is going up at the same pace. It, it isn't going up slower on the longer, on, on the higher time frame as opposed to the smaller. It isn't. But in your mind, you become anxious. Why is that? Because you start seeing candles opening up every minute. And it's going up, and you know you you are in on a sale. The candles are going up, and they look they look they they look you know big to you, but that's not true. It's moving the same. All right, so you have to you have to learn to unlearn all of the stuff that you've been told. All right, now that's the message that I'm gonna give you in this video, but the next video I'm gonna take it a lot deeper than that. Because a lot of you are just stuck. You're stuck. And I'm gonna explain what I mean by that. Alright? Um, what I, the, the takeaway I want you to get from this video is simply that you have to develop patience in a market. Alright? How do you develop patience? I'm gonna show you how to develop patience. Do yourself a favor. Open up a demo account just open up a demo account I'm gonna show you what helped me because when I first got started I was like everyone else you know I was thinking that you know I could trade on the hour I luckily I never traded anything lower than an hour unless I was scalping I may have looked at the hour chart in one minute if I chose to do that I didn't always do that that wasn't my thing I don't like having two screens open you know, but usually it's easier to, to just look at one than having to jump back and forth. So, because I traded on a smaller time frame, I was hitting certain areas, and I didn't know that I didn't know what area it was on the chart because I couldn't see because I was looking at a more narrowed view of the actual market instead of looking at a vast view of the market. Okay. So when you look at the market in its entirety, instead of having a narrowed view of it, just like you, you see this, this you see the, the fall foliage of this photo here, if you, if you train your eye to look at just the road, you, you tend to block out the foliage, the trees that's, that's surrounding the roadway. All right. So when you learn to 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 unlearn how just looking zooming in, all right, narrowing narrowing in on the roadway, when you learn to unlearn not to do that, or if you learn not to do that, you start looking at the big picture, you start to see the trees, the foliage, you see the road, you see everything. All right? So Basically, what I'm telling you is that trading on a small time frame is just the opposite. You know, when you when you when you go into a you know when you go somewhere for the first time, you don't you don't base your opinion about something based on just a small piece of what's going on. Now, let me try to think of a an analogy real quick let's see 
if, I don't know, if you were going out of town, if you went to, say you went to Cali for the first time, you got off the plane and you were greeted by someone that may have been rude, you're not going to base the entire trip off of that one person that may have been, may have, may have woke up with a, with a bad attitude. He may have lost his, someone could have gotten, you know, someone could have, he could have lost someone in his family. He could have gotten to an accident on his way to work. A lot of things could have happened to this gentleman, but the energy from him, you took on. And what happened, if you learn not to allow that energy to, to basically uh, give you a false idea of what California is about, then that's when you start to see, okay, that was just something small. I'm gonna let that's just something small. That that's not gonna give me my my impression of the entire trip to California, you know. So I want you guys to understand that if you if you look at the market in its entirety, with this example, looking at the after you go home, you look at the entire trip to California. You say, you know what? That was a beautiful trip. I met some awesome people. Although you had you had met this one guy that may have been a little bitter to, towards you, not even be, not even really towards you, but just because of his situation at the moment. But you took on that energy, and you if you do not know how to control that, what happens? You let the entire energy dictate the entire experience for you, and you lose sight on exactly your purpose for being there, and that's to enjoy California. So. Basically, what I'm trying to show you is this. Having that understanding of looking at the market in its entirety gives you a clear idea of what the market is really doing. Not just looking at just a, you know, having a narrow view and saying, okay, I'm just, I'm, I only see this and that's what the market is about. Just this right here. The market is going up and that's, that's all it's doing. That's not right. Because at the moment when you're looking at the market, you have a thousand other people, they're looking at the market, that same market, but not at the same exact time you are. So if you're looking at the market at 9.24 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, it might look that look as if it's going up to you, but you might have uh, Susan, she might look at the market at 11.46 a.m. and it looks to her that it's going down. Two different people, two different perspectives, two different time frames, all right? Two different moments looking at the same thing, but two different perspectives. So basically, what I'm trying to tell you, what I'm what I'm what I'm working towards doing is helping you see that having patience in the market can allow you to realize a much larger gain. All right. It will allow you to see because everything is a domino effect. All right. If you learn if you just did one thing. If you did one thing, if you traded off of a higher time frame and perfected your entry, you will not be faked out by the smaller moves that's realized on the minute chart, the five minute, and so on. You will eat all, you will absorb all of that. All right. When the market goes up 100 pips and then comes down 30 pips, you would have then made your what? 70 pips. At one point it was 100, but because you know that it isn't done yet, it may have came down 30, but because it came down 30, it's going to eventually go back up even higher, surpassing the 100 pip zone going beyond that. And now it retrace, giving it some spring to go higher. Once it goes higher, now you realize the entire run instead of just a portion of it. See, small time for traders, they, they, they look for those sweet spots when the market just goes down to 30 pips. What I'm trying to show you is taking it from zero to 100, all right? You take it from zero to 100, you make the entire move and beyond, all right? So how do you develop patience in the market? How do you unlearn training or trading rather from a smaller time frame? How do you unlearn it? One thing that I'm going to tell you, open up a demo account. Try just one time trading off the daily chart. 
try to find an area that you think is a good area to get in on, whether up or down, and trade it. And see how long you can hold that trade. See how long see how long you can hold that trade. Do not shut the trade down. Leave the trade open for a day. And if you have if your perception of where the market is going is correct, from the point you got in to the end of the day, all that profit is yours. Instead of you looking at the market from a smaller perspective, only seeing you know, just up to this point, you can't see all the way down here, down the road. You can only see right here. And then that's all you get. Because that's all you want. That's all that the smaller time frame is going to be able to show you. But when you zoom, when you zoom out, and you maybe shrink your chart down, and you can see the way of the, the flow of the market, that's where the power is. That's how you develop the patience because you can see where the market is going and you develop a confidence that, you know what, why was I trading on the smaller time frames when I was only getting a piece of the pie? Now you're getting the entire pie. I want you guys to take that to bed with you. Learn that. Try it on your own time, on a demo account. Just try it and see what it can do for you. That's when you can turn your trading around. I'm telling you, it's worked for me. It's working for the hundreds of students that I train. It's time to work, have it work for you. All right. Now, what I want you guys to do, expect a follow-up video to this one. All right. Because I'm going to take this series into a direction that only those who are able to really understand and only those who are truly aware of what I'm talking about are going to be aware of what I'm saying alright I'll see you guys later expect another video you guys have a fantastic evening peace